everyone. Thank you for joining me on my channel today. This piece here is actually was my first test piece to see if the pearl cell technique would work with a Dutch pour over top of it. So here I am, I'm just um, painting the edges uh, to get them a little bit tacky so that the design uh, sticks to the edges better. Um, I've noticed that when I do this, it's best to leave it sit for a couple of minutes after you paint the edges for it to start drying just a little bit. I've noticed that the, the longer you let it sit before it's completely dry, of course, um, the tackier it is and it uh, holds that design better. So you'll see that the base coat that I'm using on this one does have the sat the deco art satin enamels. I actually since then have started using the bare satin enamels more uh, than the deco art satin enamels, but the deco art is what I used on this one. And I'm showing you this in real time today because I get a lot of questions on how fast you tilt. Um, so I thought I would just let you guys see what it is that I actually do because usually it looks super fast <laughs> so um, here I'm just gonna put a little bit more make sure that I'm getting uh, the puddle to um, to slide so here I added the artist loft black and then on top of that I am going to be adding the interference gold so if you've got been watching my videos you'll notice that I've been doing a series on adding the interference uh, colors to the top of my puddle before I tilt um, and making the interference go completely over the puddles and off all the edges yeah I've, I've been liking the way that that looks and so uh, I've just been experimenting with it and then adding the Dutch pour in later. So here I had tons of air bubbles because I had just uh, mixed up my paints. So when I tilt, I don't normally um, go off the edge right away. Uh, I want to make sure that I'm able to get that interference puddle uh, spread out a little bit before I start taking it off of the edges. So you'll see that's what I'm doing here. So yeah, the, the thing with um, this technique is you really have to stretch. I mean, you can see I'm holding my canvas um, at about almost 90 degrees just to get that to move all the way off the edges. And then also you wanna make sure that you're not leaving a lot of paint on the edges or on the canvas because you're not going to get the cells popping through. So here I am tilting it back to this corner. I wanted to do the Dutch pour in this corner so I wanted to retain uh, some of that interference gold. So you'll see I didn't stretch it back toward myself to get cells in that um, lower corner. So you'll see it's starting to develop here. Um, I. I'm speeding this part up because it's like watching grass grow, but um, I usually wait a good 10 minutes before I start the Dutch pour. Now I apologize, the Dutch pour par portion of this was in time lapse, so it's really fast, um, but you guys get the idea. And it's kind of cool because the wet results on this one, that interference gold almost looks like a silver over top of the black because the black is showing through so much right here but you'll see in a second in the dry results that it dries very um, very gold in this one over top of that that black so yeah it, it actually dried really cool I love it so anyways um, guys I appreciate you being here today if you like what you see please like share subscribe hit that notification bell um, and as always, go over to my dad's channel, DJ Fluid Arts. He's doing some cool um, swiping techniques with masking tape um, with the Fluid Art. So yeah, go check him out. And yeah, thank you again for being here. You all have a great, great day.